What's up, interwebs? I'm Tim Green. This is my running channel with some awesome running content on this on here for you to check out. Uh, this is uh, Chronicles of Scholar Grant being read to you by my buddy Adam Daly, his first time as a narrator. Oh, absolutely. Reading a very, very first draft. Thank you, Tim. Of No, of my novel. Yes. The only novel I've ever written that's pantsed and completed. It's Chronicles of Scholar Grant. Um, and he's reading it because, well... I need content for this channel, and it's content. It's content, and I think it's funny to see how bad this novel is when I pants it. And there's a at least a almost a year gap between at some point when Oof. I stopped really writing it and finished it, started it again, and took another gap off. Anyway, he's gonna be reading it again. It's the first draft. Um, we are gonna comment it on, on it afterwards because I was gonna harp on something that. Oh yeah. I'm still surprised he hasn't brought up. He sat upon. He sat upon a chair on a chair again. Took a seat you know, upon took a, a seat. 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 Yes, yeah, so he took a seat upon a seat. Uh, it's like that. not. It's not that bad, but it is. It's a glaring problem. Yeah. It's a plot hole. <laughs> yes, it is. So we're gonna comment about what he reads in this chapter because he's gonna read it live in a minute when we're ready. And afterwards, we'll talk about it. See what happens. I'll try to remember what I was thinking when I wrote this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and go forth. If you have not read the rest of this um, so far, or if you're not up to date, you can go back reading the, um, listen to the other um, 13 chapters. Um, or you can just listen to this one now, and then go back and see if it makes sense after you. Yeah, go ahead. And Pop back. I think it'd be more fun to listen to this one, and then go back and figure it out. Yeah. But Adam, are you ready? I am ready. Before you begin, if you go on to like this video, why don't you go and give this video a thumbs up. It's a prayer to the holy algorithm. The holy algorithm. And subscribe, because again, I said awesome running content. Um, now that that's out of the way, Adam, when you're ready. All right. Skylar Grant, Chapter 14. Four hours earlier. This is where I took position while I waited for the rest of the team to get into position, said Number 8, walking through the woods parallel to Prattsville Senior High. He walked with Detective Daniels to the edge of the woods and pointed to the school. The target was on the steps when she pulled out her phone and started talking to someone. It was then she started looking around. I see, said, detect said Daniels. You had no idea where Skylar was? No, I hadn't expected anything until the girls started uh, looking around and began focusing on my area. I radioed the team lead. When he did not respond, I went to take my shot. Uh, that's when he revealed himself. Uh, okay, what direction was the rest of the team coming from? The team w was going to take them around back of the school, enter the school position right outside the door, and be ready to take her the moment she was down. Where did the team lead say they were when you contacted him about having the target in sight? As I said earlier, he didn't, said number eight, turning towards the school. I left a few minutes before they... I was only halfway here when they radioed they were heading in. Once again, I reached here. I picked my position, laid down, setting up my weapon, and got the stairs in view and waited. The girl came out about ten minutes later. They had to be close to the school. Daniels looked in, looked in at the school before turning and facing number eight. Let's go. Number eight turned, headed back into the woods, and Daniels followed him until they were in the heart of the woods. Number eight stopped and looked and faced Daniels. Where to now? To where the team was attacked. But I don't know where that is. I know. You're not going, said Daniels as he pulled a handgun from his jacket with a silencer attached and shot number eight in the chest two times. Number eight's body went limp and hit the ground with a loud thud. Daniels walked over to him and shot him one more time in the head. Daniels quickly returned his weapon inside his jacket and pulled out his cell. Number eight has been taken care of, sir. Did you find the rest of the team? Asked a voice on the other side. No, he gave me a general location. I'm heading there now. How long until backup will be here? They left late last night. They, they should be there within the next few hours. 
All right. Send them to the high school and tell them to walk about a football field length uh, into the path. They will find number eight's body there. I will. Three and a half hours later. Skylar walked into the living room of the upstairs apartment. Jenna and John were sitting on the navy blue couch, and Jing was sitting in his matching recliner. Upon entering the room, the conversation stopped and everyone turned to face him. Skylar did not say anything, but he looked around the room, first at Jing, then Jenna, and John, then back to Jenna. What? asked Skylar, confused why they stopped talking. You weren't talking about me, were you? And why is it that you just stopped? No, said Jing. We were talking about me training Jenna. What do you think, Skylar? asked Jenna, looking at him with a sad face. Skylar could re tell she really wanted him to agree with Jing, because her dad was not going along with it. I want to learn what my abilities are? Skylar did not respond right away. He looked at Jing, who had a straight face. A face he was used to seeing every day they trained. He turned to see John, his head tilted down. He was looking out the top of his slightly closed eyes, and his lips were smashed together to barely leave any crease that you could tell they were different lips. Skylar thought quickly. He was already on John's bad side. While he could care less what side he was really on, but he knew having Jenna train and learn her ability meant help, meant not doing this on his own. I would be with your dad, said Skylar, turning to face Jenna. What? shouted Jenna. Why? You don't understand. This isn't your fight. The minute you learn what your abilities are and how to use them, then it becomes your fight. Skylar, if I learned to use my abilities, I could help you? That way you wouldn't be on your own? I, I would love help, but you need to realize that your life as it is right now is temporarily. Eventually, you will get back to the life you had. However, activating your powers means that you can't go back. Jenna glared at Skylar. He never felt this way before. Up until everything went to hell, he never cared if he made anyone made. Only Isis. Did this mean he was starting to like Jenna? No, of course it couldn't. He only known her for a day and a half. He didn't have time to think about it. He came in for a reason. Before he said anything else, Jenna stormed off. She walked right past him down the stairs. A few seconds, a loud bang echoed up to the, up the stairs into the room. I'll go talk to her, said John, standing up. Thanks for backing me. I appreciate it. I, I didn't do it for you. I did it because it's the truth, and she needs to realize that. I understand. John turned and walked by Skylar. John! Skylar turned to face him. He was just about to walk down the stairs. I, I need you to do me something after you talk to Jenna. What's that? Drive your truck about two hours from here and let the soldier go. What? shouted Jing. I got what I, what I could from him and I promised that he would go free. But it needs to be at least two hours away. I shot him with this weapon. The drug in it should keep him out for three to four hours. Drop him on the side of the road. I will. I'll see if Jenna wants to go for a ride. <laughs> John turned and headed down the stairs, while Skylar turned to face Jing, who was now standing. He stood there staring at him. Skylar knew he was not happy with his decision to let the soldier go. Why are you letting the soldier go? said Jing, as Skylar walked over and sat down on the couch. I told him I would give I told him I would if he gave me the information I wanted. He did, 
and I'm following through on my end. You know, the moment he wakes up, he is going to report in and tell everything that happened. No, he won't. How do you know? I told him that if they haven't been found yet, when they are, the rest of his team will be dead. And he will too. I told him that the people he works for won't tolerate failure. He believed you? I don't know, but I got what he knows and it matches up with what you have told me. Good. Now tell me about how you put a hole in the wall of the police station. You, you heard about that? Asked Skyler, raising his eyebrows and looking off to the side. Yes. How did you do that? I'm not sure, but I can tell you this. I was practically dead afterwards. I was drained of my energy. Once I got to where I was staying, I crashed and didn't wake up for two days. I am not surprised. You are lucky you woke up at all this week. Energy projection is powerful and deadly when used right, but your body needs to get used to using it. I would hold off on doing that again until we have time to train more. Only if you must. I know. Can't be using something that is going to be leave me it's going to leave me completely weak. Glad we are in agreement on that. Now what did this soldier tell you? I didn't really care about making people m- made. Yes. <laughs> he didn't care about people making people made. That he made people made. Yeah, that's, that's good to know. Uh, also, the fact that this entire conversation between Jing and Skylar and Jenna and the decision to train Jenna happened a half hour before they showed up there. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That was perfectly, that is exactly time continuity. There is nothing wrong with that time continuity. No. They are there no. exactly as it is. It's <laughs> happening exactly as it says. You're just... Uh. You just can't follow us along, Adam, because you're just... <laughs> no. Yeah, I knew this adventure was going to happen at some point in the, the story. It was going to... Uh, uh, Time travel. I was going to I was gonna overestimate um, or not fast enough. Yep. Uh, it's okay. But... It's one of those things. It's easy. It's an easy fix in the second draft. You just change it to the meet the amount of time you need. Exactly. That's all it is. And that so. could be a half hour after they yeah. they got there, because you know that type of conversation with Jing would happen almost immediately. I can train you. Uh, and Jenna's like, Oh my god, you can train me. Yeah, I still love how she's like uh, question mark after every <laughs> every sentence ends with a question mark. Yeah. No way. Um. So okay. So, what do you think of this chapter so far? Oh, oh I well. love John. I love Jing. I love their character. I'm getting better at their voices. Oh, yeah. As things go on, I thought Detective Daniels at first was a little too much like John. But then when he, I heard John, like, okay, no, it's like a no, no, there is a difference. And, yeah. Um. But okay. So let's start with the first part with yeah. Daniels. Uh, <sighs> so what did you think of Daniels just outright killing number eight? I. That's his job, man. That's his job. Do you think it was a, a surprise, or do you think it uh, more like okay? He was ordered. He was told to clean. He up. was told hey, that was a cleanup job. That's why he was like, "Hey, second team, you'll find him here." Yep. Okay. His job was to get the information and and uh, destroy the leak because yep. that guy now can be a leak. So I do find it funny that the guy had no idea where the other team could have been when he came. Yeah. Because he knew which way he came from and knew which way they were coming. So he should have roughly an idea of where they but, were going to be. But he said that, you know, roughly they should have already been at the school when he was ready to, when he was in position. Because they were coming from a different angle. He's yes. like, no, they should have already been that way. The when I hit my target, they come through the doors, pick her up, and gone. And I'm like, <laughs> that, by the way, is a genius idea. <laughs> what oh yeah to have them come through the doors that like even if the... she didn't get even if the dart missed her for mm. some strange reason yeah and she went and tried to go into the school boom they're right there yeah i was actually surprised i'm like when you were reading the um the plan of how they were going to come in and make 
I kind of I got lost track. <laughs> of, like, but I got you get you get like you know they're gonna be coming through the school. Was that the smart? Move? When you think about it, no, that actually is a smart move because yeah, as you just said. But like the how it's explained is confusing. Oh yeah, how I wrote it. But when you get like oh, okay, coming they're in the school, they get into the school and come through. So they gotta be like once they're in his position, he has to take his shot and move yep. just in case so no one will see them in the school. Right. Um. So, but yeah, but yeah, it's right. I think you're right. Um, it's not a surprise. Um, that it gets shot and killed. No, no, no. Um, the bad to... guys are are always gonna double cross each other. Well, it's a cleanup because. Yep. Um, mission was failed. Well, not even just that is that mission was failed and someone was captured. Right. And they, they don't realize they have they've been captured yet. Nope. But like, the, but. Eight got away, so yeah. what well, does he know? Well, not just that. It's like, okay, he got away and he phoned in. Where are these other people? Are they alive? Or are they threats to revealing yeah. things? Did they Were they taken? I like, ironically, what's going on? Now someone knows about, potentially knows about them. It's a, you know, we got to just cover, take cover our losses. Yep. Then we get to, um, back to um, Skylar. Before they arrive at the a dojo, half hour before they arrive to the dojo, um, he walks in. I'm like, "Why'd you guys stop talking? We, you guys weren't talking about me, were you?" <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a reasonable thing when it's, somebody when you walk into a room and the conversation ends, and you're uh, like, "Hey!" But it's also, but it does feel very much like a scatter to think that they're talking about him. Well, absolutely. From, from early chapters. He's of the main the, character. Oh, the, the sass he gives everyone. Oh, yeah. he, like, he, I like to describe, um, since we started doing this, I, think, I like to describe um, Skylar as uh, um, he's the main character and he knows it. Oh, yeah. He knows he's, he's, he's living main, ca- main character energy. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm totally the main character of this story. <laughs> and I know is it. Uh, I know he's it. I knows it. Um. I even find it funny that Zach did actually agree with John and his logic. It makes sense. It kind of makes sense because he's going with that from the idea that, uh, no, if you come in this fight um, and you help, he's not going with the idea of t- stopping them. He's looking to get ISIS back. Right. Um, maybe eventually stopping them, but not at the end of this book. So there's no going back. So it makes sense. Yeah. Um, it would have been very much, I think, um, better for um, Skyler to say, to not agree with um, being like, you can go back, assuming we actually beat them. Yeah. And it's that, like, I'm going to just take down, to get ISIS back, to take these people down. And if we're success- if I'm successful, yeah, you can go back we to normal life. We go back life. to a normal life. But, but if we uh, don't, then you will be running. Yeah. So I said, I think I'd probably go more that line. Fully saying, explain what, yeah. what the situation is uh, to her. Because the way that, it, assuming we kept Skyler at where the cockiness and we've had him so far, um, have it that way. But if I change that, then maybe have him stay with um, agreeing with not thinking that far. And he's just thinking about rescuing ISIS. Yep. Yep. Or something like that. But I do like the, the how Skyler responds. like, so tell me about how you put a hole in the side of a police station. Oh! Oh, that? You, uh, you heard about that. And he's just like... <laughs> yeah, I totally did do that. And... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I did it. But it did wipe me out. I mean, I, I barely stumbled out of there. I, I forgot I put that in there that he... I don't know how... It, no, but no one stopped me. And I was going, someone, please help me. <laughs> <laughs> I had that look. I was just like, I at this moment, I don't care. I, if I had to pl- t- tune to how he got to his uh, place he was crashing after that, if he was, it really wiped him out, is he was still hyped up off of the adrenaline. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was until he got to there he realized, oh, I'm tired. Collapse. <sighs> I was like, you should have seen how much food I ate after I woke up, though. <laughs> I ate three days worth of food in one meal. I would have probably thrown a Flash reference in there. Like it was like I was eating on the number of carbs that the Flash eats after for just a single snack (laughs) or something like that. I needed so many carbs or something like that. But yeah, it was interesting. What do you think of the chapter as a whole? Uh, Not bad. Not bad. I mean, other than your time. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, I definitely think this could have fit well with the previous chapter. Oh, absolutely. Um, and depending on what happens in chapter um, 15, I think, because uh, we don't know. No. But like it, it might have been, I'm getting the feeling that these, because this is not where you end a chapter. No, 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 no. This kind of felt like it was, it may have been the end of a segment. Yeah. Of uh, a chapter. But depending on what happens in chapter 15, that might might have actually been a better chapter ending and putting it all into one chapter. Yeah, we've gone like three or four chapters now of being like, okay, so this could have been part of one big chapter. Well, chapter 13 was the start of a good chapter, generally. Oh, yeah, like, but 13, 14, mm-hmm. and then probably 15. 15. Yeah, it could have been one chapter instead of these shorter chapters if I was going to break it up. Yeah. There is a, I think there's a spot in here um, to break it off into keep it if i wanted to the shorter chapters and a, a rewrite um but it would have to be um i think it'd be sing going like oh yeah that i did that i did do that like when he's talking to jing because we don't necessarily need we could have gotten that in the next chapter <laughs> or something like that as a starting point so tell me tell me about this blast through the hole in the wall of the police station he's like I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely feeling like 13, 14, and possibly 15 will probably be yeah what would be a better set. But we'll find out when we get to chapter 15. Exactly. In the next chapter. But, yes. Uh, what do you think of um, Jenna wanting to train? Do you think it comes out of nowhere? No, no, no. I, I think she, since she was told that she has the gene, that she is an X-Man who an untapped X-Man, uh, then that she's like, no, no, I really want to do this. You know, I could help. I can help. There, there's a lot of, she wants to help. Yeah. And well, obviously she has a question after everything. She's uh, really, yeah. She wants understanding. And she, she needs, she really needs to understand a lot of things. <laughs> Oof. Uh, it's gonna sound like we're being sexist. Uh, no, no, that? it's just because the way she she's a dumb character. Well, no, the weird part she's... is she's the only female character you have right now. Well, this ISIS we've only got. We've her. had one mm-hmm. time that she ever showed oh, no. up. She will. She'll show up eventually. She is the Mary Sue of this one. No, what's the Mary Sue is an all powerful, yeah, all knowing, no. never flawed character. No, no, no. The the. Uh... The one that always gets captured. Oh, the Mary the, Jane. Yes, the Princess Peach. Yeah, the Princess Mary Peach. Mary Jane, the one that is purely there so that the hero will go do the good thing. Yep, he has something to do. Exactly. Um, but yeah, no, eh. we'll get there. I know we have um there. We get eventually. We'll get uh we we we'll see some flashbacks to the school when Zach oh. visited before he got he let himself get caught. Um, yes, yeah, so I put air quotes around the cop. You know, you guys can't see that. Yeah. Um, we'll see that. Um, there's a bunch of stuff like there. I think we get some more background on Jing at some point. Okay. Um, yeah, right. we'll get, we'll get there. I just don't remember. Like, we're only in chapter 14 of 46. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So we still have a ways to go, people. This is a, we're in it for the long haul. Uh, we're already started talking about potential other first drafts I've written. Exactly. To after this, even if, regardless if this gets me um, eyeballs, doesn't matter or not. It's content. It's content, and it gives me something to do, put out there, other than the writing content I've been putting out, have been putting out at this point. Yeah. My record as a recording. Exactly. Because wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, this was recorded on November twenty fifth of twenty twenty three. So thirteen weeks after, or maybe. So it's uh, sometime in April. No, no, because I think I'm moving five episodes. The first dropping the first five Oof. is one. So, so it's maybe March. So take five away from. So about eight weeks after that, you'll get this this episode to drop. So you'll know how it's gonna be a longer gap between when we record these. Yep. And everything. So we'll see. Anything else you want to add about this chapter we wrote uh, today? No, no, I got everything out there. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. You had the end of chapter 14. Hope you're enjoying it. We're having a blast going through my horrible first draft um, that I pantsed. Uh, Adam's having fun it's with bad. the voices. I'm just enjoying being a narrator. Yeah. You would, you would never be paid to do this, though. Nope. <laughs> um, you and your first one takes. One take only. Yep. 
Anyway, <coughs> be sure to go and check out Adam's channel, ZOP Gaming. Hopefully, there should be a link down below. Or just look up ZOP Gaming. Yeah. It's the first one, generally, when you look it up. It, there's... It's the one with a lot of content. Yes, not the ones that have nothing. Yeah. Anyway, um, speaking of content, if you enjoyed this content, why don't you go and give it a thumbs up as a prayer to the holy algorithm. The holy algorithm. And again, subscribe, because again, awesome writing content on this channel. Hopefully by this time, when this video goes up, I have actually have when I figured out what I was going to do for the, the 2024 for this writing content. Speaking of that content, I'm going to put the two videos on this up on the screen now that I think can help you out. Go check one of them out, and I'll see you in the one you click. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good day.